Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Now that we've become a champion, it's time to go battle Nimona. <laughs> it's been a long time since our first fight on the beach, that's for sure. Let's see how we go this time, now that we're both going as all out as we can, hopefully. I'm not feeling extremely confident, but I, I will do my best with what I have. And if I need to do some more training, I can also do that. Let's go to the center of town. Anyway, pro will work. But it's a good thing there's this battlefield in the middle of town. It's very epic looking. Any second now. Ah. There you are, Jeremy. You ready for a battle between champions? Because all these folks here seem ready to watch. Word got around, I guess. And out of every single person gathered here, I'm the most excited by a mile. The stage is set. It's my all-out power. Versus your strength in full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. You're challenged by champion Nimona. Who sent out Lycanroc. And who do I send out? Whiskash, that's alright. This is an alright start. Finally, the thing I've waited for all this time the all this time for. Time for time to begin our greatest battle of all. Okay, let's go ahead and earthquake to start this off. Drill run. Earthquake. Super effective. To think I helped teach you type matchups, and now you're using them to put the hurt on me. That's the point, hopefully. Poor Mott, okay. I think I should be alright then. Just stay like this. Close combat. Ooh, that's gonna be dangerous. It's fine. Their defense fell, which is gonna help even more, but even though it's probably not going to matter that much. Earthquake. It's two down. Dunsparce. Uh, going to switch Pokemon for this. Send out Golden Go. I think it's just a normal type. I think. Unless I'm getting the wrong Pokemon. But it should be fine either way. Da done, sparse. Okay. Let's make it rain. Coins were scattered everywhere. The crowd goes nuts and joins in. Grabbing at whatever scrambling at whatever coins they can. That was not good. How do you like my real hard hits? Man, it feels good to finally let loose. Ah, uh, it really hurt, to be honest. Let's make it rain again. Long my special attack quite a lot, which is not great, but that's okay. Orthworm. I'm gonna send out Skeledurge, and hopefully I'm not making mistakes, but I'm pretty sure it's because it's a metal type, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Sending out fire should be good. Orthworm. I'm gonna torch song and try and increase my special attack. This is going quite alright. I was expecting a lot more of a fight. I'd probably be expecting more of a fight if I was not doing good in which Pokemon I'm send sending out. Uh, Gudra is a dragon flying? I don't know. I don't know about flying. Maybe it's just dragon. It might just be dragon. 
I really don't remember. Possibly because I haven't got a Gudra on my Pokedex yet. Let's Dragon Pulse. Let's finish this off if we can. Because it looks like we're pretty close to the end. Ice Beam. Super effective. Is this the last Pokemon? No, it is not. We're getting we're getting very close now. And now we're up to the last Pokemon. Meow Scar Scarada. Don't know what type that is, but I'm gonna send in the Skeledurge. Let's see how we go. It's all down to this, my last Pokemon. We're gonna fight with everything we've got. Oh hey, this actually works out kind of pretty pretty well for me. Let's uh overheat. Shine blazingly bright, my greatest treasure. Overheat. Good thing I trust lies because otherwise Shadow the Dark type move would be more effective against the ghost type. Works backwards to in the loop of starter Pokemon. I'm pretty sure, so. Which I think is pretty cool, so. But there we go. You. You did it! This is legit incredible! You're the strongest out there, Jeremy! I mean, you knocked me flat, and I was giving you absolutely everything I had! Everything I... I... Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever knew! Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me. It's gone. And I thought I was reading fast. Now, let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break, Jeremy. Before round two. Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions, decisions. Victory Road. Complete. Yo, Arvin here. Whoa, down boy, don't jump up like that. Seems like you're hearing... Like hearing your voice has old Mabostiff. Here all worked up, Jeremy. Oh, but that, that's not why I called. Nearly forgot. You remember what we talked about before? About going to Area Zero? Ah, uh, yes. Of course you do. You little know-it-all. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Well, all the effort you've been putting in around Paldia has really helped you make a name for yourself. But but up and but built up some good will, that's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Area Zero with us. That should have already that that should have us ready to tackle anything. So now we've just we've all just got to get there. First step, we'll be gathering at Area Zero. I'll be ready and waiting at the, at the Zero Gate. I'll send you, you the location on your phone too. 
Don't leave me hanging forever. That's cool looking. We'll be waiting. Bow wow wow. Okay. I guess that's our next goal. I can't remember what else I needed to do other than get... Oh my goodness, why there's so many exclamation marks? Oh no. Oh no. Well, I kind of want to look at them now. <laughs> I don't think I can do that one or the first one, so I'm going to have to do other ones. But since we've completed the Pokemon League and uh, Victory Road, uh, it would be easy to bet that there's more stuff available for us to look at now. We're talking to our NPC friends, our allies. Thank you again for your outstanding work on Operation Starfall. I cannot tell you how relieved I am that we were able to help Miss Penny as we did. And I know she is exceedingly grateful to you for your part in all this. So, I have one more thing to ask of you, though. Though the request is admittedly of a delicate nature, do you think you could continue being a good friend with Miss Penny, as you have thus far? You bet. I must say, I truly am glad to have you as one of my students at the Academy. I believe you've more than earned this small token of, token of my appreciation. Big nugget. Big, big nugget. I've got a big nugget. I hope that you, you will always stay just as wonderful as you are now, Master Jeremy. Well, there we go. I got a big nugget. Nurse's office. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to take my time moving forward. Since we've done quite a fair bit. Like, if I look at the map. We've done all of that. All of that. We've, we've been basically everywhere. Hopefully. Now we just need to go... Over here, to area zero. Oh boy. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. Oh, you're still stuck here, I see. Oh, Jeremy, I'm glad you're here. Are you here to bring me out? I have some good news. You're not going to believe this, but... I passed the health teacher certif certification exam. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I saw you pushing yourself real hard with your treasure hunt, and that really inspired me. Of course, most of the credit for my success goes to my own hard work, though. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the push I needed to try again, Jeremy. 10 max revives. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But they... Tell me there's no no room to add new classes this year. So I guess I'll keep being Nurse Miriam for a bit. Just you wait though, I'll be standing in front of a class at the, this academy before you know it. Then I'll teach you all you need to know about health. I bet I'll make a great teacher, I can't wait to see you in my class. M more lessons. Just more lessons. More and more and more lessons. I think that's everything I can do right now until I get some more of the Herba Mystica. I'm trying to leave. Hang on. Why can't I leave? It's it's hard to navigate menus sometimes. Just sometimes, not all the time. Well, now that I've done the Elite Four, I should probably also keep in mind that I can also do Terra Raid Battles to get the Herba Mystica that I need. Although I, had, I don't, don't know which ones I need to do, I just have to do them. So anyway, let's go. Way over this way. Also, I don't think I explored like this area as much as I thought I did. This is possibly something up there as well. Possibly. But anyway. Let's go to Medallion and just go up the mountain. Just go up the, the cliff face.
I really like that we've done all these like different paths to lead to the same point in the story. It's really cool. Let's go in. Now the gates have been opened. Hey, over here. This is the e e it's zero gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Palia. What folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down to the cra into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Coridon was born, or something like that. Maybe it will be happy that it can finally come back home. Not, a lot, not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside of the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. The way home. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Hola, Jeremy. I haven't said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once she's heard she's she'd get to battle some battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get. Beaten in, ba in, a, in a battle. But more importantly, why is it so dark? And where's the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Well, now the lights are on. <laughs> but, but why? I, I turned them on. Seems like they were on power saving mode. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you. The kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Um, I guess. My name's Penny. Well, hey. We never got to actually talk. I'm Nimona. I'm in class 1A. You must be some kid, or some kind of t t tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon Battling too? Uh, you talk, like, way too much. The director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Penny here has uh, also agreed in a second, in a second, when she heard it was to help Jeremy. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you, Jeremy, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. And of course everyone knows me, Arvin. My love include, loves include my babustiff and cooking and biometric identification in progress. Hello, Jeremy, I've been expecting you. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? That's my mom. Probably. What? That's Professor Satter. Namona, student ID number 805C001. And petty student ID number H03B121. I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, 
Maybe not in person exactly. Arvin, did you, uh, tell your mum about us? When would I have done that? <laughs> to begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down to the Great Crater of Paldia. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you see to your right. Um, mum. Please proceed below. Wow, shut down. <laughs> Are they not on good terms? Must not be. The story is absolutely brutal to Arvin. <laughs> absolutely brutal. Guess we'd better proceed below, as requested. Sada used to be really famous. Everyone knew who she was. But she hasn't been in the media in, like, ages. I wonder if the professor's any good at Pokemon battling. That's that's the question you would have, wouldn't it be? Anyway, let's take the elevator. Biometric identification in progress. Ent identities confirmed. Access granted to lower level. Ooh, it opened for us automatically. Not quite. Looks like looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you'll be able to. Uh, you'll be above area zero. Jeremy, you have brought Coridon with you. Yes, I have. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Coridon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. What? Isn't there, like, an elevator or something? And wait, did you say Coridon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Railroading people into stuff, just like always. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Let's go. Well, she's gone. Guess we should, uh, tell her family and all that stuff. That girl, is she, like, incapable of fear or what? Oh, there you go, I guess. I was... Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> do you want to tell their family, or do you want me to tell them? I'll, I'll, I guess I'll do it. Although, if you walk in front of me too, I, I, I'm just going to leave you all. <laughs> guess we'd better go to. I mean, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, he's gone. Oh, that's still there. Cool. <laughs> guess it's not time to mourn them just yet. Ready, Jeremy? F or, Jeremy, ready for the worst? Uh, well, well, when you put it like that, I, I guess so. Good, that's what we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon of yours, and we'll be off. What's the matter with it? Hmm. Scared of heights? That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder. But no need to be scared if we go together. How does that logic work? I think I agree. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to go mourn their losses. Get on! Oh boy, they're all gonna go. Oh, guess I'm going along too. Yeah! And they were never seen again. The families mourned for three days. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to ruin the moment. But when you jump into the clouds of no unknown, 
This place looks beautiful. <laughs> this is very Xenoblade-esque, and I like it. Well, so that's cool music. I recognize that theme. Ah, uh, hang on. Where's... Well, they all will be missed. And now I'm back here again. Haha. <laughs> I think I might have died once or twice there. What's, what's wrong? It chose to go back to its ball- into its ball. It probably just- it's probably just hungry or something. Wait a second, where's the student council girl? In the tree or something? Well, she's gone! You don't think she- Everyone, you have to see this! Eris here is amazing! Come on already! I guess your ability would be... Uh, own tempo, huh? Biometric identification in progress. Four humans identified. Condition, uh, condition satisfactory. Vital signs all within normal range. It appears you are able to make the descent without being harmed. Huh, yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? That is good. Wow, sarcasm completely lost. I had concerns you might fail. Wow, high hopes. This is falling to pieces already. Given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hmm. I think your mom's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Oh, you were worried about us? That's so sweet. You should now be able to make- you should now make your way to the Zero Lab. To me at the Zero Lab, in the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks. On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. At each station, you will be able to dis disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into the, that, that lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? Come on, time to find your way to the deepest part of Area Zero. Well, here we go then. You can't ride karate in here, so we're gonna have to walk. It's been a little while since we've had to just walk, so... It should be good for us. I think this is a research station, right? Unless it's just random buildings that are part of the research design. Ominous music. This is getting very Xenoblade all of a sudden. And it's not a bad thing. Looks like these are just buildings. I like the sparkles. This place is beautiful. This is probably the most unique part of the game so far. Just look at this place. Just look at this place. This is the best. This is the best place in the game. Oh my goodness, there's a research station down there. There's also some Pokemon here that we could probably take a look at. I think those things in the distance are possibly research stations or something we should look at, probably. I guess one of the things about not being able to ride Coridon is we have to walk. We can't climb or glide or anything. So this is the inside of the Great Crater Paldia. Feels different from just seeing it in our textbooks. It's so intense. Normally we'd be able to get back- Oh, it's going by too fast and it's not voice acted. See the little honey's ball. That's not good. Can we get at it? Can we even get back to the surface without it? Should be alright. Last time I was here. Caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They just always, always came through. None of your business, Pipsqueak. Okay, come on, you two. This is an adventure. Let's just... Uh, it's gone. 
The text went by so fast. Also, I can't write Karate, so I don't know how I expect to get some of these things in here. Oh, I can just walk. It's not that deep, apparently. But also, that text was going by way too fast with stuff that anything I picked up was going to be overlaying it, unless I had seen it before. I have, I, have, I have some problems with this, but this place is amazing. Just want a few things to be tweaked, and it'll be really, really good. It's near perfect, but it's just not quite. It's a shame. Also, where'd the music go? Going in and out, I guess. Depending on what's happening. I was not expecting the text on screen, which is why I missed a oh, oh, fair bit of it. I'm not going to be able to keep up with it, so... I apologize in advance. Just going to have to quickly read it. Can't read it aloud faster than I can read it in speech. There's a lot of just items. I don't need to do this, but I'm collecting them all. It's because I'm walking around at s slow speeds again. That I'm just picking up whatever I can, so... I mean, we're getting some good stuff out of this, so... This is also probably an opportunity to send out my Pokemon to just fight, so... I should probably do a bit of that. 